The leaders of Kenya and Ethiopia are pushing for a ceasefire in South Sudan, but fighting is still underway in the oil-rich north and around the city of Bor, which the government said it retook from rebels a day ago. Even in the capital of Juba, food supplies are growing short. Soldiers patrol neighborhoods in Juba. When fighting between rebels and government troops broke out nearly two weeks ago, people living around here were caught in the middle of the violence. Many families are still sleeping at the UN base where they sought safety. Now officials are trying to convince people it's safe to go back. To minimize the looting and the losses that are being incurred into the population, or inflicted on the population, we have to deploy forces, police, national security, the army, in a different location to maintain law and order. Now we are trying to disarm those who roam with the guns. We are trying also to disarm those who are not uh, allowed to have to, 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 to possess guns and uh, say that people go back to their home. The situation is too bad and you know people are getting disease because no enough bathroom, even no water and you know people are defecting around here. We are suffering here because uh, the time when we were there before we arrived here uh, we were having uh, insecurity. That is why we came here for a safety. Juba is now calm, but the oil-rich states north of the capital remain tense. Rebels control two key towns. The UN is struggling to keep civilians out of harm's way. What has happened this last week has, for many of them, brought back the nightmares of the past. The nationhood painstakingly built over decades of conflict and strife is at stake. And uh, for us, one of the most important things is to have those nightmares end. There are more than 15,000 people in this camp here in Juba alone. Most of these people cut off from their families. They ran from home, have not been in touch with their families, and they do not know the fate of their loved ones. These people are just waiting here and watching to see the unfolding political situation in South Sudan. <laughs> The unrest is dividing the country along ethnic lines between the Nua, Mashar's people, and the Dinka, to whom Kia belongs. East African regional leaders are meeting in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, to discuss the crisis. 